Hello, hello. Let's begin by drawing this single view drawing of a shim. So looking at our drawing sheet here, I can draw a full rectangle over the whole side 7.5 by 4.5. So let's go ahead and type in REC rectangle. Doesn't matter where we start. 7.5 tab 4.5 enter. So there is our starting rectangle. From here, it looks like we have a square in the center of our shape here, but it's rotated at 45 degrees. I know it's in the center because I have my center lines here, and we have the same center point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a square off to the side and then move it so I know that I'm placing it in the center. So I'm back over here, REC for rectangle, or square is a type of rectangle, right? Click, drag it out, 2 and 1 eighth, which is 2.125, tab 2.125, enter there's our square so if i hit move now select my object is my square enter now by having my mouse over the edge it's showing me my center point i'm going to do the same thing to show me the center point of my rectangle here i have to mouse over the edge and now i have my center point click and now i've placed it in the center my square is in the center but now i need to rotate it that 45 degrees so up top here is rotate or you can type it in click on my object hit enter it's asking the base point where i'm going to rotate from i'm going to choose my center and I can rotate this whole object around. So what is our rotational angle? 45 degrees, enter, I rotated it 45 degrees. Uh, now we should ch probably chop off those corners, right? So I have a 60 degree angle at one and one eighth down from this top corner. So one and one eighth down, 60 degrees. But we have to pay attention to the 60 degrees here because uh, AutoCAD will always draw it off of the horizontal and up. All right, so if I draw a line here from my corner, snap settings down, make sure I go down, 1.125, enter, and I start moving this up, right? So it's not gonna give me the 60 degrees from right here, right? It's going to base it off of a full horizontal and then rotate all the way around. So on top of that, my 60 degrees is up in this top corner, or off of this angle, sorry, I should say. So this is 90 plus 60 degrees to get to this point, right? So if this is zero, 90, now I have to add 60 to it. So to type in a degree, I'm gonna hit tab and skip my uh, length value. 90 plus 60 is 150, hit enter, and now I have that line at 60 degrees. Let's just double check that real quick. I have an angular uh, dimension. If I click here and here, 60 degrees, right? So uh, let's hit TR for trim, enter, Trim that away, trim that away. Didn't do any of that right. Click and drag, click and drag. Trim, I'm on old AutoCAD. Forgot that I need to do all of that to trim. So um, instead of having to draw this multiple times, let's go ahead and mirror this object. So to mirror this, I need to um, hit mirror. Click on my object, hit enter. First point of mirror line, let's just go to midpoint to midpoint. Erase source object, no. And if I hit enter to repeat my command, click, click, enter, drag it up. Beautiful. Erase source, no. So from here, I can highlight the whole object, TR for trim, and now I can trim away that corner, trim away that corner, trim away that corner, trim away that corner. I uh, didn't select the whole object. Well, that's the one from before. Regardless, I have my shape. Jumping back over here, what are we still missing? We're missing this nub inside here, right? So what information am I given about this rectangle here, which is the same as this one over here? So if you look, I have the one inch and I have the 1.5. We can do another rectangle thing and scoot it on over, right? So. I'm going to just draw another rectangle. I'm going to click and drag it out. Uh, just double checking which one is which. This one is our width, 1.5. Tab 1, enter. There's our rectangle. If I hit move, rectangle, enter. This time, where is it? I do I want to move it from? I'm going to move it from my middle uh, midpoint on the side here. And I'm going to mouse over it. Midpoint, right? Triangle is our snap setting for midpoint. Click. Beautiful. Click on this thing. Let's mirror it. Mirror line right there. Do not erase source. Let's highlight the whole thing. TR for trim. 
and get rid of that guy in there, get rid of that guy in there. Hit it twice, enter. And it looks like we have the full sketch. I'm just missing center lines and dimensions. All right, good luck, have fun.